Are we looking at the mother of all rigs? Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and today we're going to have a first look at Came Terrapin. Came Terrapin is simply a smart rig. Why smart? Because it can do some things that other rigs simply can't do. Last week, our colleague Leslie showed how he shrank his rig. Today, I want to show you even a more compact option. The Terrapin rig can accommodate either the Panasonic GH4, GH5 or GH5S or the Sony A7 type of family of cameras. My preferred camera for this specific rig is the Panasonic because of the swiveled LCD screen. That means when the camera is actually on the rig, you can still see what's going on and you can still touch the screen. Really a good companion for, for this rig. It doesn't matter what type of rig you choose for the Panasonic or Sony cameras, each rig will come full of accessories. Everything you need in order to start, to start going almost immediately. You'll get roads, one power cable that will connect the rig itself to a monitor or viewfinder, different types of HDMI cables, for audio, for microphone and headphones, those two, a dummy battery, in this case this is for the Panasonic camera, if you are choosing a Sony rig, you will get that dummy battery, mind you, this is for the A7S or A7S II. If you're using a newer type of Sony cameras like the A7 III, you'll need to order this dummy battery um, separately. Even a microphone shock mount is included. Last but not least, this is a, a remote handle and that will help you to start stop or trigger the start stop of the camera. If you buy the Sony rig, it looks a little bit different, but it's the same principle. So what are the main reasons to use such a rig? Well, first of all, connectivity. Instead of consumer type inputs and outputs, when connected to the rig itself, we'll be able to use professional ones. So the HDMI will be transformed into SDI, the microphone mini plug will become an XLR. We will also be able to actually monitor the sound itself right here. And uh, when, when it comes to powering, we'll be able to use one NPF Sony type battery in order to power the camera and two external devices. The other reason to use such a rig is to be able to work with the camera on the shoulder ENG style. So who are the target users for this type of rig? Well, I can clearly see two types of users. Those who come to set with a small camera and a bit fearing what their client will say when he sees uh, something small like this. So obviously, when you team it, team it up with the rig, it looks much more professional to the client. And for those who are looking to upgrade the usability and functionality of the camera. The Therapin rig is very lightweight and tool free. Everything is very adjustable. The only time that you need a screwdriver is when you connect the camera itself to the rig. The assembly of the rig and the camera are very straightforward and it will take about five minutes to get it on. Let's start. Headphones, microphone, HDMI. This is my battery dummy connector. Put it right here. Now I need the camera. Headphones, microphone, HDMI. The battery dummy. And now let me have a seat. This is actually the most time consuming part will be to attach the camera itself. And voila, you have to admit, this looks quite neat. Battery will go right here. This arm helped me to later put a monitor on it. What else we have here? few notes. First of all about the wiring, I didn't really bother to make it nice. Uh, this is just to demonstrate that it all can be connected and it's all working well. Now, uh, some devices will be really power hungry, like some monitors, and as such it can be that this NPF battery will not be enough in order to power the camera and, for example, the monitor itself. 
KMTV is about to sell also a V-mount solution and I hope that that will be even a bit better. And one more thing, where is this one? This is the power cable that comes with the accessory. It's supposed to connect right here. And for example, let's say to a monitor, it will not work with all devices. It's good with Atomos, but with uh, Blackmagic monitors, for example, or uh, TV Logic, it simply doesn't fit. Conclusion. KMTV did a good job here, and for 558 US dollars, I think you get a lot of rig and a lot of accessories. And all in all, it's a very useful device. Of course, in terms of build quality, it's good, but you might have to adjust it in, uh, on individual basis in order to uh, make it work even better for you. What I do get to ask quite many times is, uh, if I have a rig and I have a camera, why not to buy the Panasonic EVA-1 or the Sony FS5? The answer for me is quite clear. Uh, I like to treat the camera itself as a brain and if I want to be compact and run around I have the brain with me and if I need something a bit larger and it doesn't matter if it's for appearance or usability I can always attach it to such a um, um, rig so the, the answer is very clear for me. Yeah, in terms of the future I really hope that uh, KMTV will uh, consider to add an additional XLR socket here and also an HDMI next to the SDI so the usability can be even enhanced but all in all really good job and yeah that's it that's about this fine rig thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and until next time